Today we have a huge animal unboxing. I just received 2,000 animals in the mail and it's time to unbox them. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. We have some hungry frogs, hogs, dragons, gliders, lemurs, rhinos, and other exotic animals waiting for their worms. There we have it, 2,000 super worms. Let's go ahead and put them in a better container. Of course, we need to feed the superworms before we feed the animals. So I'm gonna give them some apple slices. The animals like fat, juicy superworms, so we need to make sure that they're nice and gut loaded. We're gonna be starting off with- <laughs> I was about to say, I'm scared that he's gonna jump at my face. All right, we're gonna start off with this little crazy guy. And he's little, but he has a big appetite. As you could tell, he wanted to eat me. Crazy little frog. This is my little African bullfrog, and I actually have four of these guys. This is the smallest one. He packs the meanest punch, though. <laughs> Crazy. And they get up to the side. Look at this. <laughs> they all just look at me as soon as I open this. This one, I'm gonna try something a little bit dangerous <laughs> and immediately I get bit in the finger. Does that work good? <laughs> Nani? Ooh, he got my finger there. So these guys have little fangs in the bottom of their teeth. That's why he actually was able to hold on. He let go of my finger, but his tooth was stuck right there. I felt it. Of course, their teeth are so small right now that it doesn't even pierce. It just got caught on my skin. There you go, little buddy. I hope you enjoyed your meal. Let's go ahead and put these guys back. So here we have the king frog. He actually maintains his water pretty clean. This guy, we actually need to go ahead and look for him because he loves burrowing underground. Oh, there he is, look at this. Check this little guy out. This one here's the original. I like to call him king, although I'm not sure if he's a male or a female yet. We can't tell if they're male or female until they're about four inches when they'll start showing under their neck. Red skin, pretty much, their necks start turning red. The cool thing about these guys is when they're full grown, they'll be about the size of a dinner plate and they'll be able to eat a whole rat. So they're gonna be awesome to be able to take to the shows that I do for little kids and for schools. Hello there. Now the next crazy ones we wanna feed are the rhino iguanas. Dino's first time eating super worms with me at least. Like that, buddy? Obviously, these little worms are just a little snack for this guy because the big iguana like him isn't going to survive off these little worms alone. Let's go ahead and throw them all in there. Have a little feast. Go ahead and try them out. If you guys are interested in buying yourself some super worms for your reptiles, your chickens, or any other animal that might like them, Make sure you head over to shadowsreptiles.com so you can find them on there under the food page. This is like a frenzy. Yeah, here's some for the girl in the back, although she doesn't like them too much. Oh, oh, she's getting mad, getting jealous. Oh, you don't even like the worms, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> So yeah, these crazy iguanas down a cup of super worms in under 30 seconds. Ah, ah. Very friendly, he did that by mistake. He thought I was gonna get him one of these. So these two little guys right here, for those of you that don't know, are sugar gliders. So this guy right here is the male, munching away. It's the guy that bit my finger in the beginning. Can you let go of this bag? <laughs> I'm trying to... There you go. Here, sit, sit there. And this is the female sugar glider right here. And this one, there's a little special surprise with her. Right there, it's a little bit hard to tell on her underside. She'd only lift it up a little bit. You can tell she... Ah! Ah, man, these things are aggressive today. It's because of the worms. Yeah. Never been bit by sugar gliders, and I've been bit twice in a day. If you look right between her legs, you can see those two big bulges. That's two of her little babies. Two of her little babies, they keep these guys in their kind of like how kangaroos do inside of their pouch. So she already gave birth to them a while ago and here comes another poop. There you go. She gave birth to them a couple of weeks ago. Now in a few more weeks, they're gonna come out of the pouch and they're still gonna have their eyes closed. But after that, they're gonna be ready to go. 
So this here is my girl Red Hot Chili Pepper, Pepper for short. This girl over here is Sunny, and these two are bearded dragons. They go crazy for their super worms. Uh, ah! Are you serious, my brother? <laughs> it's like they're jealous of each one. <laughs> They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Sunny is definitely one of my older bearded dragons, so when it comes to speed, Pepper is a little bit faster than her. Oh. Bruh. Sunny, come on, you gotta pick up the pace, she's gonna take them all from you. So we don't want to get these guys too full. Let's go ahead and move on to the next animals. Now it's finally time for the one I've been wanting to see the most. And it's not Rex and Rexy, although they are definitely going to get some. I'm of course talking about last week's new rescues, the lemurs. Whoa, 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 you want the whole cup, buddy? Come on, I filled up your bowl right now. Come get him over here. Oh man, these guys are a little bit spoiled. They want me to give it to them. I'm going to get my fingers if I'm not paying attention here. Is she going to climb my leg? You really want the worms that bad? Uh-oh. A little bit crazy. Oh my goodness. We have a little bit of a problem here. We've got an apex predator climbing up my chest. Hopefully she doesn't want to get a chunk of my... And look at this guy. You have your belly on top of your food, bro. Oh, looks like he found one in the mulch. All right, Rexy, come on. Get down. There we go. I think she finally found them. I need to be very careful with what I show them because... My fingers to them kind of look like worms. And since they see the cup in my hand, they're going crazy. But it looks like they finally figured it out. Well, Rexy's trying, but Rex figured it out. Rexy's almost got it. Almost. Come on, Rexy. You almost got it. There we go. Oh, no. She's just going to share with Rex. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and give these guys some more food. But we're going to get back to the show and go feed the lemurs. And that, of course, is lila and oscar oh wait that's not oscar oscar buddy you chilling let's see what these guys think about the worms i've been really curious to see oh yeah lila's not lila did not like the movement she was like what the heck but oscar likes to try all types of things i've never fed them anything live and they probably never have eaten, eaten anything live but it'd be awesome for them to try it out at least for the video it's just a little treat oscar don't be scared try it out lila yeah, they they are not too excited about this. What's up, buddy? You scared of the worms? They definitely prefer their leaves. I had a feeling they would be a little bit scared of it. I thought maybe Oscar at least would try it out. Here you go. Give it a try. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he I don't think they're too happy with it. I guess we could go feed this to the hedgehogs and we'll bring back some leaves for Lila and Oscar, right guys? Oh, they're messing with a little bit of hay, which isn't really what I feed them. I just put a little bit inside of their, their nest here to see if maybe they would like that. If you guys want to see more of these two little cuties, make sure you check out last week's video where we introduced them to the channel for the first time. No, you guys still don't want no worms, huh? You don't have to run away. It's not like I'm going to throw it on you. These two already cleared up their whole bowl. I mean, they fit a whole half a cup of this really quickly that's why for these guys i usually like feeding them bigger insects like the roaches and stuff because they are insectivores so unlike the other animals they're gonna be eating only insects and as treats i will give them some eggs and meat as well but mainly insects speaking of rescues i also have these two little cuties that i've never shown you guys and this girl looks a little bit hungry this is her favorite snack so even though she's a little bit scared i'm sure she's gonna take it So these guys are like little hogs. So even if I drop it there, they will find them really good. They'll use their little nose to dig through the substrate and dig out any of the insects. Now this girl on the right right here does not have a name yet. She's about four months old. I got her the same day I got the lemurs which was June 26th. And then this girl here is Queen Prickles the third, and she's a rescue. She's already an older hedgehog. So, oh my goodness. So we got 
a really young one and a really old one. Hey, hey, don't fight. Here you go. Oh my goodness. There you go. So these super worms, for like most of the animals, it's little treats for them. And they actually have their little hedgehog pellets right here, which they make a mess of every night, just like their water, which is right here. I clean this out every single night, and that's what it looks like the next morning. But these guys are living a good life and they're happy. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you didn't, please leave some suggestions in the comments for what you want to see more of in the future. Make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and have a great day.